So I need to show you a little bit more about Bash and how Bash works. Let's take a look. I'm going to open up my box here. We'll log into it. Well, actually, I don't want to log into this one. I want to log into the other one, like this one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how functions work in Bash. I'm going to do nano func example. I need to spell it right. Bin bash. And I'm going to call the first function function get out. <laughs> and it's just going to contain one line in it called exit. And then I'm going to create another function called hello. And this is essentially going to just display hello. I'm going to run the hello function. I'm going to run the get out function. And I'm going to do echo foo. Now, here's the thing. Um, this line right here is going to run hello. That's hello right there. This line right here is going to execute this function which has a line in it called exit. Well, exit is going to get out of this bash script. We should never get to a point where it displays foo at all. It should just display hello. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look. I'm going to save this, and I'm going to do chmod plus x. Oops, func example. See it? Just said hello. It never got to a point where it displayed um, foo. Let me show you something else. F example 2, bin bash, function um, param info. And here I'm going to do echo, first parameter. And if I do param info, hello, and then I'm going to do param info world, echo did it work, like that. Save this, and I'm going to do chmod plus x, f example 2, f, f example 2, there you go. Okay, so what this did is, let me show you. Um, dollar one is a parameter. Essentially, dollar one is the first parameter associated with this particular function that was passed in. In this particular instance, I'm calling param info with one parameter called hello, which is displayed right there. And I'm calling param info again with a parameter world, which is displayed right there. The dollar one says displaying the first parameter that was passed in. And then I just display, you know, did it work? Echo, did it work? And this is just displaying, did it work? So that's what that's all about. Let me edit this. And I'm going to do this. Echo one, echo second parameter. And I'm going to do it like that. Parameter hello, space world. Let me display this, run this, see it? It displays hello world. Actually, it displays it in two lines. Why did I do that? I go line one and two, and it displays hello world in two separate lines. Uh, run this, cat, okay. So I'm passing in hello, and I'm passing in world. Hello is the first parameter, world is the second parameter. It displays hello first, it displays world next. First parameter, second parameter. And then it displays did it work, which is what I've got down here. Okay. So that's um, parameterized function, if you will. The next thing that I want to show you is uh, how easy it is to make menus, or simple menus, using uh, bash, if you will. Menu example, 
bin bash. And I'm going to do options are going to be hello and quit. And I'm going to do select OPT in options do begin my work if opt, which was selected by the person, if they selected quit, like so. And I'm going to do then echo done, because they, they just selected quit. And I'm going to exit out. Else, I'm just going to say it's else if. Else if is written out as elif. Keep that in mind. I'm going to do opt if they selected hello. Then I'm going to do echo hello world. Else, if it's none of those two, I'm going to do clear and I'm going to do echo bad option. And my if statement, complete my select. Okay. So I've got two options. I've got the hello option and the quit option. And I've stored those in options. This kind of works like an array. Okay. Options separated by uh, spaces. Select opt in lower case really makes this thing a variable. And the user is going to be presented with hello and quit. Right. If, they, uh, if they select quit, it's, just, it's going to display done and it's going to get out of the script. If they select hello, it's going to display hello world. If they don't select quit and they don't select hello, it's going to display bad option. All right. So let's see this thing working. chmod plus x, menu example, menu example. See it? One is hello, two is quit. What number do you want? I'm going to say hello. There it is, hello world. Quit, it says done and I get out. Notice that? So that's an example of a menu, hello world and to quit. Okay, so that's an example of a menu. So wanted to show you that. There's also something else that we can do. We can also read user input using the read command. Let's take a look. Nano read example bin bash echo please enter your name read name echo hi specified by my variable save this chmod plus add read example oops like that enter your name james hi james so you can see how I can very easily read user input. This name becomes a parameter, uh, parameter, becomes a variable. And all I have to do is put in a dollar next to it to expose whatever the user typed in. Right. I can also use a parameter example. I can say um, display uh, read data and I can also display multiple parameters as well. Bash, and I can read multiple inputs. I can just do read ln fn, like so. And I can simply display the values for ln and fn, just like so. Read data. Uh, James Cam. So yeah, and it just displays it. So that's how I can read values, multiple values, and how I can read single values. Glad you were here to look at this and you saw how this works.